The relevance of understanding that there's a driver in the human body, so we can look at the body as a vehicle. Yes, it actually works very well that way, but we have to recognize that the mind and our consciousness represents a driver. And I say, why is that important? For example, let's say two identical cars come off the assembly line, perfectly mechanically identical cars. And I give one to some 16-year-old hothead teenager, and I give one to some, let's say, more mature individual. And I say, okay, both of your vehicles go out on the road. And I'm gonna say, well, do you think both vehicles are gonna be maintained exactly the same, are gonna be as healthy, or are gonna have the same lifespan? And it turns out, absolutely not. Because the hothead will probably, you know, accelerate and hit the brakes and do all that stuff and, and take a good vehicle and really put a lot of stress on it and cause a lot of damage. The other person, of course, can keep the vehicle for years and years and keep it just like brand new. The relevance in our biology story is this, is that the mind is actually the driver of the vehicle. I have a body, it's like a car. I've got all the parts in here, lungs and heart and digestive system, and I got all these parts. And the fact is, if I have good driver education, to use these parts so they work in harmony and health and take care of it and maintain the parts, then my vehicle can last a long time. And yet today's medicine, not counting a driver, says when a vehicle is broken, immediately says there's something wrong with your vehicle. So basically, let's say you drive with one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. At some point, you're gonna to have to keep replacing the brakes. So every time you go to your mechanic, your mechanic say, oh, oh my God, diagnosis, you have some bad brakes, let me write you a prescription for new brakes. And then after about the third or fourth time you keep coming in for new brakes, uh, then we say, well, you have chronic brake failure. Well, well now we're gonna give you a, a prescription for brakes for the rest of your life, you're gonna need this. And the fact is, but if he sees as you're driving away, you're driving with one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake, you say, oh, if I just teach him how to drive by taking the foot off the brake, then we'll have no problem again. And it's the same thing in the medical profession. It says you came in with heart disease, take these drugs. And the question is, yeah, but if you're driving your vehicle by eating lousy food and not exercising and being under a lot of stress, this is you, the driver, causing the damage. Giving your vehicle more pills isn't going to fix the problem. It's driver education. So the new biology says, yes, you are a vehicle and we understand it. But the fate of your vehicle is not so much imparted in the mechanics of the vehicle. Less than 5% of the vehicles arrive here biology-wise with defects in them. 95% of the vehicles got here in good shape. If we could just get the drivers to recognize the consciousness, the mind, how to take care of this vehicle and how to operate it outside of stress, we can all live healthy and happy lives. So it's time for medicine to expand that from just looking at the physical body and start to recognize the driver is really what controls the fate of this vehicle.